What's up guys, and welcome back to another episode of my Pokemon Black 2 Randomized Nuzlocke. In the last episode, we headed up to the Fasessi Ranch and got a terrible pick, terrible pull, terrible Pokemon in a beautify, which we didn't even catch, and we missed out on loads of cool encounters. As you might have seen in that Drani montage just then, we actually found a Mew there too, so there was a, there was a Mew available, and we missed it, unfortunately. So there goes a possibility to getting a Mew, but I did do some grinding as you would have saw in that grinding montage, so we have three level 12s, Razor, Volcanite, and Abigail. Went to level 12 because I'm pretty sure Jaren, Jaren's, who's Jaren? I don't know who Jaren is. Jaren's uh, mascot, Jaren's mascot, Jaren's ace, uh, highest level Pokemon is level 13. So 12 seems hot, like a decent, um, decent level of sort of thing. So let's get into this gym and get on with this first gym challenge of the Anova region. Obviously it's, it is a normal type gym, but it's not going to be normal type Pokemon because we have it randomized. Yes, okay. Uh, not much to do here really because it's a trainer school, so... Let's head straight inside. Hello, man that's going to give me a fresh water. Okay, he's called Clyde. I, I, I just know this fresh water guy. He's fresh water guy, guys. That's exactly who he is. There we are. Okay, okay. Let's do this. Boom. Hello, Charon. How are you doing? You must be a challenger. Welcome to the Aspersion Settings Pokemon Gym. I'm Charon, the gym leader. Hmm. Well, maybe I'd, I'd better say that I just became the gym leader. More importantly, we need to prepare before we welcome you to the gym. Okay, prepare. We have a challenger. You two take your places. Ba -ba 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 -ba. If we can defeat these two, then I'll be your opponent. Okay, Charon, I shall hold you to that. Let's go and challenge this first. Oh yeah, of course. You have to actually defeat them, I'm pretty sure. But they don't see you, I guess. Charon saw potential me and maybe train in this gym. And you actually walk back. I love how you actually walk back to the proper side. I, I, I don't like it if they don't. Clark Webster has got a Mareep. Okay, well, that's not so bad. It's true we have Razor out. Um, <laughs> two of our Pokemon a week to electric type moves, which isn't brilliant. But I think Razor should be alright here because I'm not sure if Mareep's got any moves. I don't think it will. So I'm going to have to Water Gun and uh, Thunder Shock. It does have a move. Okay. Switching out to Cyndaquil next turn then. Sivu Play. Sinifu play indeed, because we're not going to Abigail either, because why would we go to Abigail? I need to start calling them by their names. I always forget their names, guys. Short-term memory is a bitch. It's an absolute bitch, I'm telling you now. Okay, Volcanite, let's go. Thundershock once more from that Mareep. We're taking that much better, though. So let's get the Ember off and burn this burn this little sheep to death. Set fire to its wall. Oh, there's the burn. I told you we burn it to death. I told you we do it, guys. Growl is not going to affect us, because Ember is a special attack. Oh, yeah. As are all works, anyway, Vine was a physical attack, so I can't. I guess you can't say all the first type, the first, the starter moves are all special. Mm. Oh well. Swinub's next up. Um, Razor's probably got this, or Vulcan. I go Vulcan actually. Razor's a bit lower on health, so I'm a bit more hesitant to send him out. Okay, Swinub, you're a super effective. You're super effective to this. You are weak to this, so take that Amber. Have a super effective. Almost took you out in one. Not lucky enough to get a burn that turn, but they only would have snoofed us, so imagine if they go on for like Earthquake or Earth Power or some random move they might have. <laughs> but we got Tackle, so we're good. We have Tackle, so we are good. This is, this is not a full uh, ultimate randomizer, guys. If it was an ultimate randomizer, the types, would be, the types would be different, the moves learnt would be different, everything would be different. Volcanite, you can indeed learn Quick Attack, get rid of that Tackle because there's the same thing but faster, so that's good. Okay, Vulcanite has Quick Attack, Clark Webster is defeated. You're strong. Or should I say your Pokemon are strong? Wow, okay. Yeah, it's just all down to my Pokemon. I have no part in it at all. That means that if you can defeat the girl too, it doesn't even know her name. Does not even know her name. Okay, uh, Razor I'm going to keep up front actually. Hopefully he can be of use. Let's do it. Now I'll show you all the things I learned from Sharon, who has just arrived at the gym literally five minutes ago, so I doubt he has told you anything. Okay, Clark, Marshall, they're, all, they're always Clarks, guys, I don't even know. Krogunk, okay. Well, assuming this thing doesn't have dry skin, we should be fine with a water gun. Will it have dry skin, though? Who the hell knows? I guess we'll find out. It does not have dry skin. Okay, that's very nice indeed. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Astonished, they're slower than us, so they can't get any features off, which is I'm fine with. I'm fine with that. That only did free damage. I'm guessing Astonish is possibly their only move this lower level. Poison Sting, too. Okay, they're going to get stab on that. But it does about the same damage anyway. And the water gun should finish off the crow gunk. Very nice indeed. And that will be raised to level 13 as well. So it's just Abigail left. We have to get level 13. 
Awesome, awesome, awesome. Razor Glow 13. Wants to learn Focus Energy. I guess we can learn it rather than Tail Whip, because who the hell uses Tail Whip? And I keep Water Sport, because it could come in helpful. I've had it come in helpful beforehand. I think it was. I can't remember if it was Diamond or Fire and Omega that actually came in helpful. I can't remember. Or maybe even some other game. I don't know. Okay, so Razor's coming back, and we're going to send out Abigail to deal with, with this Patrat. So it's actually a Pokemon we might usually see around here. It's a Patrat. That's nothing out of the ordinary for this gym, so let's just gust this thing and hopefully do some decent damage. Hopefully. I mean, hopefully half. Yep, half indeed. Tackle is not going to do much because we are fully evolved, so nice high defenses there. And that is going to be Patrat getting wiped out with a gust. Goodbye, Patrat. Is Abigail going to level 13? She's not, though. Ooh. For knowledge to truly become your own, you've got to test it out for yourself. Wise words there from Clark Marshall. He seems to be a girl. I'm going to run back and heal up quickly because that's what you want to do for a gym challenge, guys. You never know how hard it's going to be, do you? You never know how hard it's going to be. Let's continue onwards. Continue. Well, sorry, onwards. It's backwards. It's backwards we're going, guys. Okay. Hello, let me heal up, please. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And I'm going to send out Abigail at the front, please. Oh, I wish Pokemon followed you in this game. They would look so beautiful. They would look so amazing. I want that. I want Pokemon following in Generation 7. If it's not there, I am going to cry. I am going to absolutely cry. That's what the question of there is going to be today. Do you want to see following Pokemon in Generation 7? You know, do, do you like it as a feature? You know, stuff about that. The question of there is on layout anyway, so you guys can check it out now and answer it down in the comments section before we begin this gym battle. If you haven't already, guys, you can smash that like button too for this gym with Charon. Ba -ba 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 -ba. I'm going to talk to him from here. Let's go. Okay, Charon, tap in your foot. Just as this is your first gym challenge, this is my first Pokemon battle as a gym leader. Let's both do our best and have a battle we can be proud of. Let's do so, Charon. Why can't I fight you from the ground, though? Are really Wellington. He's not called Charon. He's called Wellington. Okay, Wellington. Writer Wellington. That makes sense, because he's got a pan next to him. He is Writer Wellington. He's got a Starly. Okay. Starly versus Pidgeot. I think I know who's going to win, but we could, you know, he could have Hurricane. He can't have Hurricane, but you guys know what I mean. Let's get that Gust off. Let's get that Gust off, indeed. Gust seems like a move that would do more damage to flying types. That's Twister. But Twister and Gust are pretty much the same thing. I guess Twist is a more powerful Gust, that's the only thing. My attack failed, but that doesn't matter. To have chosen that move, I see you'll be a powerful opponent. I am indeed, I've got a Pidgeot that's going to wipe your face. Oh, this is a Starly gone, out of action, RP, RP, ripped, etc. Abigail's getting some experience, level 13, awesome. What's up next? Beldum! Oh, damn, Beldum, okay. Well, it's a very good thing we have Cyndaquil or Vulcanite on the team, otherwise Beldum would be a big problem because of that high defense and the steel typing, but, I mean, we have Razor as well, so... But Vulcanite should be able to deal with this thing pretty good, unless, of course, takedown is a problem. As a gym leader, I aim to be the wolf for you to overcome. I shall overcome you, Cherim. Let's do it. Ember Vulcanite, let's go. Okay, over half damage. Oh, and the burn, too, that's going to help out a load, because takedown is now going to do less damage. Yep, awesome, and a bit of recoil there. I mean, yeah, we were going to win this battle because of the battle of recoil and take that anyway, but Wellington's got a potion. He's got a potion. Wellington is such a posh name. Wellington. We're going to see Wellington today, everyone. It's like Kensington. We're in Kensington, everybody. <laughs> okay. Beldum is almost gone. Another potion. No ember is going to wipe this Beldum off the floor. Boom. Quite a powerful opponent for the first gym, but we have the typing to support that, guys. Vulcan might get some experience, and Writer Wellington is defeated. This, this is what a real Pokemon battle is. Indeed, Wellington. Indeed. That battle has made me really feel glad that you were my first challenger as Jupiter. I give you this in, my, in honor of the strength you and your Pokemon showed. It's the basic badge, because I'm a basic bitch. Boom. Basic badge come through. Let's do it in the badge case. There it is there. Okay, awesome. Matt received the basic badge from Sharon. Here is your first gym, the basic badge. Gym badge, rather. This is an important milestone. With this badge, Pokemon at level 20 will obey you, including traders Pokemon. I want you to take this. I've got TM83 Stone Edge! Oh, damn! That, that's powerful. Remember in this game, guys, TMs can be used over and over and over. Stone Edge! Oh, damn! I'm quite happy with that. 
Teammate, teammate figure teach your Pokemon the move work up. Not exactly, dude. Not exactly. It's more it's Stone Edge, but ah well. I shall try and collect all the badges, indeed. Plus, guys, remember we're going to get another TM when we leave this gym because we usually get return from Bianca, I think it is. Um, but it's not going to be. It's not going to be return. It's not going to be return. It's going to be a different TM. So I wonder what that's going to be. I'm really happy with that TM. Hey, hello, Bianca. How was it? Did you, how did your Pokemon battle? How did your Pokemon battle go? <laughs> How did your Pokemon battle with the gym need to go? See, I'm hyped from that Stone Edge now. Oh, and if it isn't the basic badge. Wow, amazing, and you just set off on your journey with Pokemon. You definitely have potential as a trainer. I'm sure of it. This is from me. It's the TM for the move return, but it's not going to be. It's going to be... TM27 Rest. Okay, it's not a brilliant DM, but oh well. When a Pokemon is return, the more it gets along with the trainer, the more powerful the move is. Thank you, Bianca. Still at Cheren. You know him. You can't say that's Cheren. Why have they not seen each other in two years? How- They were really good friends, and they didn't see each other in two years. What did he do? Go on another- like, Ventral, another regional or something? I don't know. I give up. Okay, I'm gonna get some nice registers. I'm getting all the phone numbers today. x transceiver is ringing. And look, it's Professor. Hello, yes, indeed. Yes, all this fun stuff. All the fun stuff. Okay. I, I hated the X transceiver in it, uh, black, white, black, and white too. It sucked ass in my opinion, so I, I've never used it. I always just sped through these. Oh, oh, see, the first time I played it, I read through the conversation, but like, what's the point, really? Now, anyway, oh, she's got a little little music thing. Hey Matt, isn't Professor Juniper cool? If you talk to her on the X transceiver, you should value the completeness of your Pokedex. I'll tell you a lot about how Pokemon evolve, and you can call us too as well. I'll tell you about the, and then Sharon is gonna. Yep, abilities in Pokemon type matchups. It's basically like just boring stuff. So, look, it's Mud. Are you the gym leader? One, two, three, let's battle! You look, you look like a tough trainer. Understood. Please come into my Pokemon gym. In you go, Mud. Go mess him up. What was that weak answer? I'm definitely gonna take you down. Okay, Mud, turn down, turn down. Being a gym leader is even harder than I imagined. The next thing is, is to make it. Is make it so you can use a C gear. A C gear is a cool device for communications, except no one is ever going to use it. I did never use this because I had no friends. So I'm going to turn it on there just because it gives a nice little thing on the bottom screen. It's not as nice as the one in black and white, to be honest, because I like that one a bit better, but this is still a thing. It's better having a blank bottom screen, I guess, with a little power button. Okay. Let's head inside the Pokemon Center and heal up quickly. The metal guy is there. I'm probably going to leave him for the whole game and get my medals right at the end, so it'll be like 10 minutes of getting medals, you know, because casual, casual, why not? Okay, 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 thank you for watching, you for still waiting, not watching, yeah, I watched you heal the Pokemon, I mean, watching, I mean, yeah, I did watch, but I guess watching isn't really something I would, you would, like, thanks for watching me, it's a bit weird, anyway, let's head out of, what's the city called? I can't remember what the city's called. For the Asperger City, that's the one. Okay, so let's head back out Asperger towards Flacessi once more. And last patch of grass, of course it is. It's going to be a Cyndaquil, the one we caught, or a similar one. Not exactly the one we caught, obviously, but you guys get the gist of it. You guys get the gist of it, indeed. Got away safely, and we can continue onwards towards Flacessi Town. Yep, we got through there nice and safely. Hopefully, Older's not going to interrupt us again and be like, Yo, I'm going to speak to you some more. I'd just be like, No, leave me alone. <gasps> leave me alone, Older. Let's be anchor once more, of course. What do you want? Is she a fault? She didn't, she didn't upgrade my Pokedex. Damn it, Bianca, so forgetful. Okay, habitat list. Thank you very much. Okay, I don't think it works with the randomizer. No, don't hear again. Oh, no, oh my god, I've missed to a freak. No, four times. There we are. That's my that's my trouble with speeding up. That's my trouble with speeding up. Okay. Thank you very much, Bianca. Fill up the Pokedex makes your world bigger. Okay, that's good to know. But yeah, I don't think the Pokedex works. I uh, have that this works with randomizers, so it's not going to show me that what actually I get. It's just going to show me the original orientation, I guess. But we can battle this guy now. Hey, that cleaning thing there is the basic badge, but don't get the swelled head, it's a rough world out there. Here, I'll show you. Let's battle this hiker, but what's he gonna have? What is this hiker going to have? Dan, he's actually a dancer. He's a dancer, watch him, he's a dancer. He's got a curlier, that makes sense, because he's a dancer. Wow, wow, makes so much sense now. This thing is level 11 though, which is fairly high since the gym was just level 12 and 13. But we'll gust this thing, get some decent damage off on it. Oh, damn, not even half, not even half. 
confusion is going to be, okay, reasonably, you know, decently, sort of high damage. And a quick attack with, oh no! Don't do this to me, Curlia. Do not do this to me, Curlia. I will destroy you. I'm going to quick attack your face. Boom! Yes. Destroyed, Curlia. Destroyed. Sweet. Abigail gets experience and is level 14 now. Sweet. Level 14 for Abigail. Player defeated Dancer Florentino. Look at him. He's such a dancer. He's such a dancer. Damn it. Dale. He's beat. Okay. Let me through, dude. Let me through. There's another trainer down here. It's a little kid. But you guys, you know, little kids can be mean. Little kids can be mean. We're not actually going to... We're not going to take any chances here. What Pokemon is he going to have? I'm the strongest trainer in Ver Verbank City's preschool. Uh, yeah. Okay, dude. Well, I mean, I can test you for that. I can test you for that, indeed. Ranger Pansy. He's actually a ranger disguised as a preschooler. It's Shady. Shady is in the Pokemon Black 2 randomized tag log already. It's only episode 3. Damn, Shady. You get around a bit. You get around a bit, Shady. Let's water again your face. Sorry, Shady. Thanks for the present. It hurt me a bit. Can the next one do some nice healing, or are you just going to keep throwing me nasty presents? Here it comes. Nope, did more damage to me. It's a crit, too. It's a crit! That makes sense, because it's a belly bird. Get it, guys? Now, this one heal me up. Nope, dead damage again. Brilliant, okay. Ah, well, now Shady's gone anyway, so. Serves you right for attacking us, Shady. Serves you right indeed. Ranger Pansy is defeated. I guess I'm not the strongest in the world, though. No, he's not really, is he? Not really the strongest in the world. Okay, Mud's going to come down here with Charon, actually, double teaming me, and they're going to tell me about double battles in the grass, which obviously we know all about, so I'm just going to sort of just speak for there. He's giving us some Petra Berries too, and he's going to leave. Okay, boom, there we are. You're going to stay there. Another preschooler to fight. Uh, okay, let's go for it. Hello, preschooler. How are you doing, dude? Or girl, or rather. Hi there, look at my awesome Pokemon. Well, is it going to be awesome? Is it not going to be awesome? It depends what it is. What's it going to be, Kim? Ranger Kim. It's going to be a... Mareep. Brilliant. Brilliant, of course. Another, another damn Mareep. Another damn Mareep. Two in, two in one episode. And as I said, two of my Pokemon a week two electric type moves. So, Vulcanite, out you come once more to deal with this thing. Out you come once more to deal with this thing. Okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. That's a fun shot. Take it, take it, boy. He did indeed, he did indeed. Let's ember this thing up. Let's ember it up. Damn. Oh, the burn again. We're burning the reaps, guys. We are burning the reaps for days. Yet another tackle. Mareep gets burnt again, and the ember is then going to finish off this Mareep. Boom, it's gone. Ha ha. And Volcanite always leveled up. Razor did level up, though, to so level 14. Not bad. Ranger Kim defeated. I I'm not mad. Mm, I'm pretty sure you're mad. You're a little kid, you can get mad at a lot of stuff. I'm surprised some of these kids didn't throw tantrums when you beat them, to be honest. You know, you are actually beating kids. Not in that way. No, don't beat kids, guys. Do not beat kids, please. Uh, what have we got here? A muscle wing. That's actually reasonably decent, if we look in the bag. Go to the medicine pocket. Muscle wing is going to increase the base attack stat of a single Pokemon, so that's reasonably good. It gives it some attack IVs. What have we got? Same route, so we can catch another Pokemon, but it's a Dodrio. Damn. It's a Dodrio. We could have got a Dodrio on this route. Instead, we got an Oshawott, so I'm fine with the Oshawott. Not going to complain there. Let's burn this Dodrio just to get some extra experience, because it's, it's Dodrio. It's going to get some decent experience, I'm pretty sure, even though we're higher level. 47. That's enough to level me up, so that's what I'm, I'm fine with that. I am fine with that indeed. Let's go, Volcanite. Let's go and challenge this. Oh, Volcanite's going to evolve. Oh, yes, Volcanite. Power. The power is going to come through right now. Come on, Volcanite. Pull through. The power is going to pull through. Yes, the power. Come on, power. Come on. Keep going. There it is. Here comes the power. Boom. Right there. Read it and weep. Read it and weep. Powerful Volcanite. Oh, I can't wait to get Typhlosion. Possibly. I hear he might die. I don't know. Hopefully it won't die. Hopefully it won't die. And before it dies, next battle. I always get my best when I'm around kids and Pokemon. See, she's their carer or their, you know, their teacher or whatever. But she just lets her kids run free. She's actually a swimmer and her name is Mark. So I, I'd really watch that preschool. There's actually a really shady guy. He's called Mark. He's the Pokemon world is not safe, guys. It's not safe for children. Despite the Pokemon, you've got fucking swimmers pretending to be school teachers. That's not good. Is this thing got thick fat? I bet it's got thick fat, hasn't it? 
I think it's definitely gonna fake that. God damn it. Okay. Let's get a quick attack off, see if there's more damage. Hopefully it does, of course. Boom, yep, reasonable damage. And there's the amnesia anyway, so that's gonna be even bulkier against my ember. So we'll just keep going with a quick attack. If only we had flame wheel. If only we had flame wheel. I mean flame wheel would still get hit by uh, um, affected by thick fat, wouldn't it? So that's not really a solution to it, but oh well. I just want flame wheel. Flame wheel is pretty cool. Munchlax is almost dead. Tackle is not gonna kill us unless no. It was, uh, if, even if it was a crit, it wouldn't have killed us. So Munchlax is gone. Nice doing business for you, Munchlax boy. Bit of experience and Swimmer Mark was defeated. Oh no, I'm not being a very good example to kids, am I? Not really, sort of pretending to be a teacher. Not really at all. You're doing bad. What's this I'm gonna be? It's gonna be a soda pop. Nice, not bad. So we have, was it a Moomy Milk we got last episode, fresh water from the gym, and a soda pop. Not bad. Oh, we have a double battle now. We have a double battle. I'm going to put Abigail and Razor up front. Let's do it, guys. Boom. Come on, girls. Let's battle. Let's do it. Two Pokemon. Strong and strong come together to become very strong. Um, one plus one is then three. What? I don't know. Anyway, twins, let's do it. Cool couple. They're actually a cool couple. This is not good. Okay, so unfortunately, I couldn't do a reaction to what the Pokemon were because I decided, someone, someone decided they were going to walk in to my room, just as it happens, so fuck people, I hate my family, they're, they're legit really annoying, but it's a sun cone and a worm pool, which Abigail is going to just destroy, so I'm going to take the sun cone out first though, because that's a grass type, and that would be a threat to Razor, so that thing should hopefully, bop, yep, bop, yes, bop, it's gone, okay, 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 water gun is going to hit the worm pool, and not take it out, nope, the next turn it is dead, it is rip, it is gone, I'm just going to quick attack this worm pool, and then uh, we can go quick attack here, do we? I'm going to tackle. I'm going to tackle if the quick attack doesn't take it out. Tackle, take it out. Nope. Quick attack took it out, so that's the worm pool. Go on and fish, and that's all good and fine and dandy and everything like that there. So, cool couple Joe and Max. They're actually a couple. Incest. Incest confirmed in Pokemon games, guys. Or in the randomizer, at least. Okay. Let's head through here now. Where are we now? Oh, look at this. Look at this. Look at this lovely. Oh, look at it. Look at it, there's a Pokemon League there, there's a ship, so that's obviously a um, stay a city. Ships coming and going across the water are the means of transportation for people living in Verbank City. Thank you very much for telling me. This is actually Verbank, it's not Castellia, yeah, it's the port, from, it's port in this city here. Oh, hello. Hello. Oh, you. Yes, you're with free Pokemon. If you have more Pokemon, your journey should be even more fun. Here, I'll give you these, so I can catch more Pokemon. Yep, I'm fine with that. Great balls. Great balls. You know what they say, Chiff Company shortens the miles. Maybe, I don't know. Anyway, we're here in Verbank City, and the X-Transceiver is going to ring right off. Great. Hi, it's your mum, where are you right now? Wow, Verbank City, isn't there a complex? There's a complex there, right? Have you been there yet? I've just literally got here, mum, Jesus Christ. The way it looks tonight is really quite nice, and you can also train your Pokemon there. You know, your Pokemon can do some things, and you can do others. I hope you can all work together and accomplish amazing things. Thanks, mum. Is it really necessary? No. And there's some more storyline or dialogue in general. Roxy, don't know how to stop me. I'm off to Pokestar Studios to learn to my true potential. My dream is to become a ship captain and a movie star. Get real, you're a captain already, aren't you? If that ship doesn't move, you're gonna cause a lot of trouble. Oh dear daughter, you split your time between your responsibilities as a gym leader and with your band, right? I can do that too. No, he can't. He's gonna go and be a fucking movie star. Ah! You dim witted, dense, dumpf, daft, dippy, dorky, doltish doofus! Doing double duty isn't a problem. You're causing problems for people. Keeping people from getting where they're going because of sheer selfishness is unforgivable. I've had it! I'm going to the gym! You do that, Roxy. So, we're here in Verbank City. It's not the nicest city in the world, really, is it? Loads of pipes everywhere. But, we can go into here. Hello, and welcome to the Pokemon Center. I shall rest the Pokemon, indeed, to fully restore them. And... Boom! We have fully restored Pokemon! Okay! There we are. So, Pokemon! We have Abigail, Razor, and Volcanite, all level 14. I think this is where we're going to end the episode up, guys, because I'm not sure how long we're recording for, since I have to stop recording the middle of the episode. But, uh, in the next episode, guys, we shall explore the Bank City and do the complex, too, and maybe even get to the gym, who knows. But, for now, I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, don't forget to smash that like button, and also answer the question down below in the comment section. 
Uh, and yeah, that's pretty much it. I thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'll be seeing you next time. Goodbye, my friends.